activities. Today I'm going to show you kind of a day in the life of my workout routine. Uh, today I'm going to tackle some glutes and I'm going to superset it with a little bit of arms. I am doing absolutely no hit today, so I don't know how much time I have. The boys are inside watching cartoons. We just come back from the park, so this is real life. Mom, hurry up and hustle and get it in. But again, I'm not doing a hit routine, so we'll see how long I can work out for, but I just kind of wanted to show you, ladies, kind of what workout really looks like for me when I get my full time to work out in my garage. So come on and join me. And let me know down in the comments below at the end of this video, if you like seeing these sort of things to give you feedback on what you should be doing in your workout routine. Also, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified every time I post a new video. So I'm going to start working out because I don't know when these boys are going to barge in. So let's get to it. And I gotta put my fan on because this little garage is hot. I want to thank Built Bar for sponsoring this video. I will get to Built Bar, why I love it, and how you can enjoy it for a discount too at the end of my workout today. But I'm getting ready to do some thrusters. Gotta tie those shoes and positioning myself as best as I can. So if you see on my Reebok bench, I have my back up against the bench. It's right below my shoulder blades. That's really important. As you can see, I have my chin tucked. That is just so that I focus much more on my glutes. And if you look at my feet positioning, you can kind of see my toes wiggling up off the ground. That's so that I'm using a lot of posterior chain engagement. And I'm sorry I left my spotter arm there. I should have taken it off. And next I head to hammer curls. So I'm only curling with 20s here, but as you can see, I'm going very slow and controlled. I don't have a momentum going in my arms, no swinging, and my elbow stays right next to my body. And then I switch to single arm because it got tiring. So that's the best way I can focus on one arm at a time without cheating. So you don't wanna cheat with those curls. stretch, 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 drink a little water, rejuvenate my body, and I'm going back to thrusters. I think I have about 165 pounds today, and as you can see, I'm going fast here. I sped it up for you guys, but at the top, I am squeezing and taking a pause right at the top. I'm not dropping down all the way every single rep to the bottom to rest. You can if you need to, but I'm trying to keep my glutes fully engaged. So for this set, I did 12 reps of hip thrusters and 12 hammer curls. I repeated this set four times. So let me just speed this up so you don't need to watch all four sets and we can get to the rest of my workout. As you can see, my son interrupted me already and think that was only like two sets in. That's how it goes. Okay. All right, interruption number one. Switching up the angle a little bit so you can see this next move I'm gonna be doing on my Reebok deck. So very good move, but I have the towel there on the floor if you can see it, because I'm gonna put that under my hips just to um, give a little bit more cushion so your hip bones don't dig into the bench. So here we go, super set number two and some more arms. 
Okay, I am doing reverse hypers here on this bench and I am doing bent knee to straight leg, which not very straight in this video because uh, <laughs> it is painful. Let me tell you, these burn your glutes so good and the band is above your knees so that you have a hip abduction going on. They're amazing. And I went straight into regular curls. And then I tried to do a sit down set so that you guys can see it a little bit better. I also used 20s for my curls. And as you can see, I put that towel down on my Reebok deck to stop my hips from bruising, but they still bruised. I should have put my yoga mat. I don't know what I was thinking. So there we go. I did three rounds of this. I believe I did 20 hypers here. So painful, but so amazing. And then I did 12 curls per arm. Baby interruption, totally normal. Here we go. Okay, go eat it. Interruption number two. <laughs> this is how it totally goes every time. This would be like doing the hip abduction machine at the gym when you reach over to grab the stack of weights. And that's just gonna focus a little bit more on your upper glutes. You can hold on to your hips and bend forward or you can hold on to something. But as I go to push out or pull up my band away into the abduction, I hold for at least a second before I relax again. And those hurt, they're amazing. But I'm using my black band and I think I did only 10 of those. Next, I'm going into standing deltoid raises and then tricep kickbacks. Just trying to give my lower body some time to rest, do a little bit of upper body. And then get back right into those standing hip abductions. So good. Yes, my glutes burn. Yes, they're burning. So deltoid raises, two tricep kickbacks, and I am using 10 pounds in this video. I did three rounds of this, so again, I'll fast forward it through so you don't have to see every single rep. Now I'm moving my bench aside, of course with kid interruptions. I'm gonna set my BOSU up now and I'm bringing it close to my Olympic bar with weights on it because I'm actually going to use the Olympic bar to hold my feet because obviously I don't have the proper machine for this so I'm making do. Now I'm trying to make sure that my hips dig in to the BOSU properly but that I can Focus on my glutes versus my hamstrings. So as you see, I'm my ankles are actually under my Olympic bar. My back is rounded, my chin and chest, everything is tucked. 
That is so that I focus on the glutes and I'm not focusing on my lower back or those hamstrings. Again, I should have moved my spotter arm. I wasn't thinking, so next time I record, I will drop those. Those burn so good. They're so incredible, and that was just body weight. Now I'm gonna go into a standing tricep pull down with just a spree tube band, nothing special. Just trying to give those glutes a rest again while I get a little bit of upper body work in. And the baby's there, if you can see his little head. He is playing on my phone. Not the best parenting move, but whatever I can do to make it through. And so here I'm doing curls again. I am doing five, five, and five. I went five from 90 to, to a full curl from lower all the way down resting curl to 90 degrees and then I did a full curl from all the way down all the way up and every set that I do of those I actually change so that's just to burn your arms out give you a little bit more curl work and bicep work and you can see look I'm suffering here every time I touch my glutes it's because they're in pain okay so good it's one of those pains that you love to feel. Maybe not you, but definitely me. I miss it. I miss the real pain of being in the gym all the time, you know, focused on the muscles. So I did three rounds of this set as well, and I will fast forward through this for you as well. That way you don't have to see how long it is and how boring. But as you can see, a full curl here, 90 to upper, and then all the way down to 90 degrees. Not perfect. As you can see, I'm swaying. My arms aren't in perfect alignment. My arms were already tired at this point, so you do what you can. It's always the goal to have great form, but sometimes when you're really exhausted, that's when the form starts going, and that's when you should actually start reducing the weight. And I was using 15 pounds for that. I'm pretty sure I caught my whole workout, but the camera battery, not battery, excuse me, the memory card literally ran out right at the end of my workout, which that works out very well um, because I'm pretty much done. All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna put on some ankle weights, we do some fire hydrants and some leg lifts. I'm upstairs now in my room. I'm going to finish the workout up here because like I said, I'm gonna do some fire hydrants and then I wanna to talk to you guys about Built Bar. But if you don't have ankle weights, highly recommend some ankle weights. So I'm gonna eat this Built Bar while I do fire hydrants. Not kidding, because they're high in protein. So this one I'm gonna eat today is a peanut butter brownie and it has 180 calories, that's it. Um, 19 grams of protein and only five grams of sugar, but it's a great way for me to get my protein in without shaking up a protein shake because sometimes you want a snack like a good treat. So I want to thank Built Bar for sponsoring this episode. Built Bars are incredible because they are filled with whey protein. The outside is chocolate and let me show you really quick because I'm literally gonna eat this and exercise. The kids are still watching cartoons. This is what it looks like. It's a nice chocolatey bar. It's so good. Just look at the center. It is so good. This one has peanuts in it and it's chocolate. It's delicious. It is so good. Anyways, they're all, there's 18 flavors. Nine of them have nuts, nine have no nuts, and they all have the same consistency so if you like one of these flavors and you like the texture, which is kind of like a chewy caramel uh, texture, you're gonna like another one. But I really love these. They taste great. They're good for you. There's not a bunch of crap in them. Literally very, very few ingredients. I am the fan of anything peanut butter, coconut, 
um, or chocolate and that's all the flavors that I choose from when I get these but literally there's like banana bread, carrot cake, cherry Garcia, there's a ton of flavors. I think there's even mint chocolate chip. I need to try that one for my husband. But super good, super nutritious and if you click the link down below you can get 20% off your first order and thank you again to Bill Bar for sponsoring this video. Let's keep up with these fire hydrants. Let's go. So, we're gonna go 20 on one side. Mm. I'm gonna just shake it off a little bit. Adding in some leg lifts, might as well, because I don't wanna switch legs. I wanna keep on going one leg. fast as I could do it. And it burnt. Burnt. Another baby interruption. See how many interruptions I get um, during my workouts? It's totally normal. So if you're trying to work out and you're getting discouraged because you're getting interrupted 20 million times, it's okay. You'll get through it. Just keep on going. I remember was my firstborn would only nap for 30 minutes. It was so discouraging because I was so used to that mind frame of being in the gym and working out and not being interrupted and being in the zone. Mom life ain't like that. Woo. And that is a wrap. So that's a wrap for my workout. Sorry the garage lighting was a little bit dark. I don't have my special light on because it makes it easier to just grab my camera to record my workouts. But again, I wanted to show you real life, what it looks like when I try to get a full workout. I think this was almost an hour, probably over an hour with all the interruptions. I'll put the timestamp right here of how long this workout took me. But and just so you can see, you can get it in. You just have to have a different mindset around your workouts and it's hard. I don't get these long workouts in every single day because they are hard to fit in. So I do a lot of weird little workouts throughout the day. And if you guys are interested to see, I try to vlog more of my workouts so you can see how I fit it in in my day. But again, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them down below and Thanks again to Built Bar. You can use this coupon code right here for 20% off your first order. The link is in the description below. But as always, stay positive, work hard, and God bless. Mahal for joining me. Aloha.